What's up, YouTube? This your boy, Dre Headlock Chronicles. Hold on, so I'm gonna tie my motherfucking hair because I want y'all to see me. YouTube, I've been trying to record videos out here in this nighttime for like the last past <clears throat> seven or eight days. Probably like the last past week. I look a little better. Last past week, I've been trying to record videos out here in the nighttime. It looked perfect out here, and I thought to myself, what's the perfect time to do videos out here? So finally, I brought all my shit out here. I got my iPhone placed in my door right here, you know, so you all can see me. I got my hair tied up so you can see me. Let's get to talking about it. So, people send me messages, yo. What do you do to your dreads? And honestly, I don't do nothing to them except for wash it. Every now and then I put some oil on them. And that's about it. Like, people, I know one dude, I think his name is Franklin. He asked me, do you do you use beeswag or have you ever used beeswag? Quite frankly, no, I haven't. Um, I don't really too much care for people saying, like, you know, the mildew or build up it'll leave regardless whatever you use in your hair is gonna leave build up regardless unless it's a natural product so all of that stuff really doesn't matter like you can look at the ends of my locks real quick like you see some of mine's mine's not perfect i don't really want to use no beeswax but i just let my shits lock and do what they do what they do so if you notice your boy locks look a little good right now you know they got a little shine to it like all right here and the reason why because i recently washed them gave them a nice good moisturization and i'm gonna tell you what i use and these are the products i use on my locks so i'm gonna show you so this is my new shampoo i just got last week it's the uh, head and shoulders men's two-in-one deep clean uh, the deepest clean available with citrus and mint extracts, 100% flake free, guaranteed, fresh scent technology, head and shoulders. Now, this stuff has seven benefits like um, removing flakes, calms itchiness, relieves irritation, reduces redness, great, great scent, fights dryness, leaves hair looking awesome. So, this is my shampoo I just recently started using. Um, I had the um, head and shoulders something, it had almond oil in it. It was a two-in-one shampoo plus conditioner with almond oil. I had that when I ran out, so when he got me some more. Now, honestly, I really want to start using just only natural oils, you know. I don't want oil that has perfume and all these minerals and vitamins and shit in it. I just want oil just for the oil. And but so I recently bought me some more of this African Pride Olive Miracle, um, the maximum strength growth oil, you know, anti breakage. It smells good though, so if you want to use it, go ahead. And the reason why I really don't want to use these oils anymore because it has so much shit of like ingredients, like the ingredients start like right there, and it stops right there. That's too much ingredients. I just want one oil. I want either castor, almond, avocado, or some shit like that. Now, to retwist my hair, I only used this product three times since I had it. I used it um, the time that I tried to retwist my back. I did, I actually did. And the time that my homegirl Tracy did. Now, this is. um. I think I'm saying it right, the Tawali YG Lock It Up. I actually learned about this product from um, Damian Walters. You go check out, go check out Damian Walters. If you wanna learn anything about locks, go look at Damian Walters' channel. I'm gonna try to put a link of his channel in the description when I go back and look at it. This stuff smells good. Kinda put you in some kind of weird coconut, wild coconuts or something like that kind of smell. And this is what it looked like. I don't want to waste it. So, you know. And as you can see, I haven't used that much. It's like a little golden color. So, yeah. And the reason why I like this is because this creates no, this is 100% no buildup right here. Reason why, because it has no alcohol in it. It's like it clearly says, um, what is it? 
to maintain locks after total after shampoo and blah 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 lock it up to the lock hair near the scalp use fingertips upon roll new growth blah 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 basically this shit has no alcohol so you won't be getting all that flake flakiness I don't use Jamaican mango and lime products anymore because all they did just cause build up in your hair so I don't use those no more and that's about it. That's the only thing I really do to my locks. Like I said, I wash them probably like once or every two weeks. I try to oil them. I, mostly I oil them every time I wash. So every time I wash my hair, I usually fucking put some kind of oil or I just go about my day. Either way. Recently, I wrote down a list of oils that I actually want to start getting. And here's my list. Uh, I learned most of all these oils from one of my people who I tried to name um, Natural85. Go check out her channel. She she got the natural game on lock right now. So, you know, avocado oil is one, castor oil, coconut oil, olive oil, rosemary oil is really good for getting rid of danger, keeping danger away. Sweet almond oil, arrogant oil, grapeseed oil, tea tree oil, peppermint oil, and um, saf, saf lower at oil. I think I said it right. And them the only oils I really want in my hair. Just 13 oils, just 13 different oils. Not fucking 13 oils with a fucking bottle alone of ingredients. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to see y'all later deuces i fucks with all my subscribers you know you suck me i'ma suck right back you know follow your boy on instagram at dreadheads rocks follow me on facebook or shit follow me on face facebook um king hatley cooling i'ma put it all in the description box if you wanna fuck with me on the s box one 360 all uh, capital letters notorious bay bay come holla at your boy Right and also right now what I'm doing, I'm I'm trying to get a 1984 Caprice Classic, either a 84, somewhere in the 80s I want a Caprice, or I want like the 1978 Caprice Tudo Coupe, or 79 Tudo Coupe, bad looking cars. So anyway, I'm gonna hold up too much of y'all time. Y'all got me for seven minutes and 50 seconds, so I'm gonna see y'all later. Deuces, subscribe to your boy.